Faux sliding. You slide, I slide, we all slide. So, if you're thinking about trying to take your bow staff game up to the next level, making sure you can get more points in sparring, or just simply just have a better control of the weapon. This might be something that you aren't doing that you should be. So, the slide. So, what this entails is very simple. If you're doing a typical technique, coming down at a 45, for example, you only have this much part of your bow that's actually doing the striking because you're in the thirds, correct? Well, here's the problem. If your opponent's sitting here and they're doing the regular thirds and they step out, you're missing them because all you're hitting with is this part of the bow. So here's how you fix that. As you're coming in, you're going to slide down the bow and then strike. And you notice, now I've gotten about four foot of the bow as opposed to the two foot I was working with earlier. So it's a simple technique of just sliding down, sliding, sliding. So the trick is not that you can't slide because it gives you that extra few feet. But the trouble is, is learning how. Getting the practice of doing it is easier said than done. So doing it, it's easy. If you know what you're doing, you're thinking about it. But how do you get your body into the motion where you can slide on the boat without having to fight very hard? Well, today, that's what we're going to be going over. So all we need to do to do this is simple technique to get your hands and your mind body into the use of sliding up and down the bow. So to do that, we're gonna start with our bow, start with the center, just like your normal uh, quarter grips, all right, or third grips, pardon me. And all you're gonna do is take, and you're gonna open up your hands, and you're going to slide the bow. So if you notice, all I'm doing is taking and sliding up with the left hand and sliding down with the right. So as you're doing this, all you have to do is do it all at the same time, and you'll get to where you can do this back and forth, and it's not a big deal. You'll be sitting there talking to your pro of karate kai, you're like, hi, oh, how you doing? How's your day going? Oh, that's not bad. Well, that's cool. All you're doing is practicing the slide on the bow. So when you do come to it, you are able to do your slides. It's a simple technique, and that's all you have to do to get into it. So let's try that again so you can see exactly what I'm doing, and let's slow down just a little bit. So all I'm doing is taking the bow, and sliding my hand, right, and up. And the idea is to just open your hand up so you're not going to hit as you cross. So all it is is simply sliding one down as you slide the other up. What that does is allows the bow to slide between your hand and you get used to passing. The passing motion is what's going to get you the extra, uh, extra attack that you need. So when you're holding it, it's not limited to your two foot range here, right? You can take and slide down and then strike out. And that's what's going to get you the extra uh, momentum you need. So let me show you from a different angle. So from here, slide. That's all you have to do. Like I said, talk to your friends. Hey, what's going on? How's it going? All right, everyone. That's all there is to it. It's a simple technique with something that you should be practicing and incorporating into your techniques. It makes everything better when you're able to slide up and down the bow seamlessly without having to worry. And it's a big surprise to your opponent when you jump in and you're able to get that extra two or three feet that they didn't expect you to be able to get just by simply sliding up and down the bow and getting that extra distance. And if you have any other techniques or you like this one, you have other ways of practicing it, definitely let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear all about it. And as always, the more you train, easier the fight.